Enda, 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 Is Morara Kibaso digging his own political grave with his civic education tours? You see, the longer Morara embarks on his self-styled civic education escapades across the country, the more it seems like he is in a relationship with disaster. With every visit to inspect government stalled projects, it's like he is painting a target on his back. His latest tour in Narok feels less like a public engagement and more like a dangerous message. Stop poking the beer or face the wrath of the powers that be. And what began as a routine address to Narok residents quickly unraveled into chaos. Out of nowhere, an identified man ambushed Morara and his team. In the blink of an eye, one of his aides lay bleeding with a head injury, and their convoy of vehicles was under siege. One car was left crippled and abandoned by the roadside, a stark reminder of the dangers lurking behind Morara's relentless criticisms on the government. Tukiwa vijana wa Naro County, tukikashifu mikutano enye ndugu wetu Morara Kebaso anafanya hapa. Ya kwanza, e, tuliona kwa mitandao akisema kuwa vijana wa Naro County, wamemuita na wako tayari kumpokea e, kwa hiyo mikutano mikutano zake na la pili <coughs> kama vijana wa Naro County tunakanusha kuwa sisi atukumuita hakuna kijana wa Naro County amemuita mkutano na sisi kama youth council uh, hatuna <coughs> mtu yote ambayo amemuita juu tumeongea na viongozi wote kwa hivyo Morora Kebaso eh, angekuja kama mgeni <coughs> akuje atusikize sio yeye alete mipango ama ajenda zake hapa Narok Narok County tuko na challenges mingi sana and tuna trust our leadership wanafanya kila jitihada ya kufunga hizo gaps sio watu wa, wa kule nje ndio wanajua anasema kesho watakuwa na mkutano kubwa sana ule Ndimama Stadium. Na vile tunajua kama wa Kenya wazalendo kesho ni siku ya mashujade. Na tu, tu, tutakuwa pamoja na viongozi wote wa Naro County na mkutano mmoja. And that meeting is gazetted. Kule Nyamira umali umetoka. Ungeanzia clean up ama hiyo injecting, ungeanza kuinject huko. Ungeanzia hiyo social audit kule Nyamira. Wewe ni Conman na tukutaki na hakuna wakati tutakubali ju watuwezi kubali mku, mikutano mbili kesho tunajua Kenya mzima mikutano ambayo itakuwa ni ya mashujaa peke yake tunasherekea mashujaa wetu kama ule Ndimama General Kisio na wengine ambayo waliweka maisha yako wa, yao hatarini ndio tuweze kupata hii uhuru ambayo tuko nayo kwa hivyo kwa saa hizi na mkutano yoyote ambayo itafanyika kesho ambayo usio ya kusherekea washujaa wetu sisi tutakoroga hiyo mkutano na tutasalimia according to Kebaso himself the attack wasn't a coincidence he hinted that his enemies had engineered the assault aiming to sabotage his narok mission entirely no development has been done i began with the narok county referral hospital which was allocated about 500 million then somewhere along the way, before they finished the contract, they allocated another 500 million, which now went from where we don't understand. So after visiting that hospital, I toured the hospital. It's no longer in use. It has stalled. Medical equipment is not there. I went to Uru Market, which was launched by uh, His Excellency Uru Kenyatta, and now has been launched again by the governor. 
the area around there has a foul smell and it has a lot of garbage. So I was thinking uh, to convince the locals to join me tomorrow so that we do some cleanup. When I left there, I intended to go to the road uh, yeah, Masai Mara University. I have a lot of projects that I need to tour. One of them is the Suswa water projects. Another one is the Patikalitat water project in Kilgoris. Another one is uh, Majimoto Sekenani Road. And then so many other projects that we need to see where Kenyan taxpayers' money went. But unfortunately, in this particular incident, we were not able to finish to do our work because we were attacked. We were attacked by individuals who were sent to attack us. My, one of my vehicles is damaged, uh, but uh, our security did a good job. We want to tell the people of Narok that we are peaceful, loving. We have not come to cause any chaos. We've just come to share Mashuja Day with them and to celebrate our heroes. And we hope that they'll stand with us and work with us in this journey of accountability. And also this is to communicate to the political leaders and the governor, whoever may have mobilized those people to come and attack us, that we, have, we don't wish anything bad. We are not here to decampaign them or make them look bad or make them look like they are not working. We are just here to do our normal work and that is what we will do. Sawa sawa. However, the timing couldn't have been worse for the self-proclaimed civic educator. As the country geared up for the Majuja Day celebration, Morara found himself in the crosshairs of public opinions once again. While President Ruto prepared for the official Majuja Day celebrations in Kwale, a defiant faction of anti-government youth spearheaded by comedian turned activist Eric Omondi announced a parallel celebrations at Uhuru Park. The agenda was very simple, to honor the fallen Gen Z protesters who died during the fiery demonstrations in June and July this year. And many expected Morara Kebaso to join them, but he had other plans. In a bold and some say reckless move, Kebaso distanced himself from the Uhuru Park crowd, announcing that he would hold a separate event in Narok during the Mashuja Day celebration. His decision drew sharp criticism, with many accusing him of abandoning the anti-government movement's cause for his personal ambitions. <laughs> Hata si tuko na vijana na viongozi hapo pia wanapinga hii serikali bwana. Ili komodi hezi kuwa anapambana anapanga event 20th anahusisha familia za watu walifiliwa na wapendwa wao. Wa Kenya wamejipanga vizuri wanajua watajumuika na wenzao hapa Uhuru Park tarehe 20. Wao unasema ati hatuna dai watu watu hadi watu waende waende Narok kusafisha Narok. Wewe acha bwana, utabidi utuambie uko pande gani wewe? Uko pande gani? Watu na jipanga wanaenda ya urupa kuona divert watu 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 waende waende naro kukuosha naro. Oleibon, Masai, wanyenyu hambo wenyu. Guli ziwa Masai ilande. Now some even saw it as a betrayal, proved that Morara was trying to play both sides. And as fate would have it, the Narok tour ended in chaos, with Morara's entourage bearing the brunt of a violent ambush. Whether the attack was a message from the forces protecting the government or the consequences of standing alone, one thing is very clear. Morara's path is growing more perilous by the day. The more he criticizes the government, the more the government you know, plans to finish him politically. Now the question lingers, will he heed the warnings and step back or is he determined to push forward, even if it means 
walking straight into the lion's den. 